good morning everyone, Andy Forestine the Runner here, back with another race vlog. Yes, we have a race today. I've kept this quiet, but today we are running the Shepherdine Road Marathon. Yes, we are running a road marathon today in a storm. Obviously it's pitch black right now, it's 10 past 6, but it is wet, it's been windy, it's been horrible here in the UK today. After today it's clearing up, sod's law, but today's the last day of the storm. Myself and Lee and some others are going out there today and we are going to run a road marathon yes yeah, so as you guys know i had the brecon beacons uh, trail marathon cancelled a couple of weeks ago and i've been looking for an alternative i've been looking at loads of different options ultimately i wanted a race to cap off this training block so that i can run today and then have next week off and just let the body relax after a hard summer uh, of training so the only thing that was on was a road marathon and to be honest with you if you asked me six weeks ago when i was doing those hard 20 mile efforts i'd be in good shape i was very confident but now after doing all these hilly runs stop start walking it's probably taking the edge off things a little bit but hopefully we've still got enough in the tank to go and run a road marathon today we're going to see what happens and also super excited to be meeting up not only with with uh, lee and corey but liam and kelly i'll explain all about that when we get down there i've got to go and get some fuel and we've got to get down there ready to start at eight o'clock so i'll see you when we're there And we've made it with 35 minutes to spare. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to run in this. We have a race number. A race is actually happening. I cannot believe it. So as I mentioned earlier in the car on the way down, I was meeting Kelly and Leah. Now Kelly's here doing a little bit of filming for her YouTube channel. So what she's gonna be doing is filming myself and Liam, who I haven't seen where Liam is yet. I need to go, well, I've seen him, but I need to go and find him to get him on camera. Kelly is doing a video about us two in today's race. None of the footage you see in my video is gonna be in Kelly's video. Kelly's gonna be doing an exclusive behind the scenes. It's, it's gonna be epic. I was down in Lydney on Wednesday. We got some footage of my pre-race workout. It's gonna be awesome. So make sure you head over to Kelly's channel, subscribe. She's out here braving the elements just to film us, which is awesome. So yeah, make sure you go check out her channel, check out that video when it's done and uh, stay dry. Well, hopefully I can go back in the car. Yeah. I've got the easy job today. <laughs> Right, I've tried to do all the cinematic shots. I am so cold, I'm sat in my car. I can't be bothered, I'm really sorry. So this is the last you're gonna see of me before we get into the race. Next percent today, gonna to go for it. Lee has just given me some run gum. Don't try anything new on race day, boys and girls. So I'm gonna try something new and have some run gum. Gonna use some Vaseline on the old nipples to stop the chafing. And that's it, I literally, I've got 10 minutes until I start. So I need to get a wriggle on. I'm not gonna even have time for a warm up to be perfectly honest with you. So yeah, I will see you on the start line. Forgot to say just very quickly before we sign off, fueling today, Univer gels every half an hour. Got five of them, one spare. I need to see your number mate. Oh, sorry. Go. <laughs> Just run past the cow field there. Cow's having a bit of a bit of nookie first thing in the morning. Lee, how are we feeling? Not bad, not bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm loving it. A bit delusional to be honest with you. We're like half a mile in and uh, wondering what the hell we're doing. Anyway, let's get on. Five miles. 
the headwind and it's uh, not pleasant so I'm looking forward to getting a crosswind in the tailwind again. Twenty-one, hanging on for dear life. This is our flat. We go, holding pace so far. We did it. Sorry I didn't get any of the finish. That was brutal, that last lap. We hit the headwind on mile 23 and pace dropped just a touch, but 2.44.35 and 2.44.20. 24. 24. So Lee was the person to go behind me in energy. Well, you didn't see it at all because I wasn't filming, but he just put five seconds on me at the end. Finished strong. We both got a sub 2.45 marathon. Unreal in those conditions. I'm just gobsmacked. This is Liam. He just ran a 238. We missed him at the start, but he's here being interviewed by Kelly. As I said in the beginning, make sure you check out all this footage. It's going to be epic on Kelly's channel. Liam is just talking to you now. 238. Absolutely insane. 244. It is a good day all round. Oh, they're serving hot teas. I'm trying to walk to get a hot tea. I've just sat down to do Kelly's interview. I couldn't get back up. Oh. This hurts so much, it's unreal. So there we go, Shepherdine Marathon done. I can barely speak. I'm absolutely frozen. My hands are freezing. I need to warm up. I'm going to put the car heaters on in a minute. We got the medal, still wrapped up. 2.44.35. Holy shizbang. What the hell is that all about? Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Let me be, let me be honest with you, okay? I was speaking to Lee about this when we were planning it, dropping into this race. I said, I reckon we can do a 240. A goal 240, B goal 245, C goal get a PB, which is 259. Um, conditions today were absolutely horrific. I mean, beyond horrific. So I knew straight away A goal would be game over. So to get the B goal, to beat the B goal, to be in between A and B, it has absolutely blown my mind. I've held pace, or we held pace, until mile 23. Basically, it was a five loop course we had. We went out that way. I could <laughs> kind of speak. We went out that way. We had a side wind. We were on the back of the course. We had a tailwind, side wind that way. And then coming back up for the last mile of each loop was a headwind. And the headwind broke me on the fifth mile. Me and Lee. 
we slowed down from our we were running between 607 to 615 pace the whole way and um and then we went down to 620 uh, 630 something and 640 for the last three miles literally that was it we broke in the last few miles the headwind got me there but i i am so proud like i can't explain how proud i am of pacing of both of us we apps i'm shivering we absolutely annihilated it so that kind of caps off an incredible summer's worth of training we've pb'd in the half we pb'd in the 10k we've got a monster pb in the marathon 244 i'm a sub 245 marathon runner oh my god i just oh uh, it's unreal so make sure you check out kelly's video which will be out i don't know if it's gonna be out monday or tuesday but her link to her channel is in the description below that's going to be an epic one she's been here supporting a massive thank you to kelly for standing out in the rain filming us i mean what a legend she is pleasure to meet liam incredible to run with uh, run with lee well done to jonathan who is a chap so harrier who also got a pb hopefully lots of pbs were had today and thank you so much to rogue runs for putting on this incredible event guys thank you for all of your support over the past few months with training it's been an incredible journey i'm having a week off now not from videos but i'm having a week off from training and we're going to kick start back fresh again next weekend if you enjoyed today's video guys make sure you give it a like share it with your friends subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and as always i will see you on the next one until then